All right, it's Mike from Custom Cruises. It's okay, we've put the bearing in. Nice brand new bearing. The old one, pretty knackered. You know, that really is very loose and very worn out. Okay. Got to change a couple of gears on here. The uh, bearings, I should say. Bearings in there. I'm going to fit new and in there and on all these other shafts as well. So basically, it'll have a fully recon shafts uh, bearing set. Now you can also see the other great upgrade here, which is a pretty important one if you ask me, because the standard's crap. Standard stator, this is heavy duty one. Now the rotor normally is nothing like this. The rotor is basically all separate magnets which come off. So this is a massive upgrade on what you've got, you know, really good move. Because when those magnets come off, they get wedged in here, rip all this to bits. Then the powdered magnets being magnetic stick to the primary chain and everything inside your primary. So it is really a very, very good idea to do this. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the shifter pawl this bit. I've got a good spring on it, but the top's pretty knackered. You know, the top spring's pretty loose. So I'm going to put a new um, shifter pawl in there. Okay, which involves taking this off, circling off that. I'm also going to change this bearing here. Let me see this bearing that one wants changing okay seals obviously on this uh starter coming around all the belts new and everything you know pulley's good that was changed last time swinging arms powder coated got the new um cleave blocks in all this is new we got a new bearing going in here okay and uh basically the, the training should be brand new the motor eventually i'm going to stick an sns 111 in but for now, it runs bang on with this motor. If I'm getting SLS 111 at the right money, obviously I will. But uh, at the moment, it's certainly usable. It's a good bike. Do love riding it. Very, very cool machine. Okay, got the conies going on. Got some possibly some drag shocks because these are a bit hard for me. You know, must be for a much heavier person, judging by the way these are jacked up. I might drop them off. But uh, I do like ride height. So when I'm touring... You know, this has all got to be cleaned up and taken apart, obviously. You can see the SNS oil. This red stuff is so sticky, it's unbelievable, but fantastic for gears. So if you're going to use a good oil, I do highly recommend this SNS oil. You know, it really is horrible stuff, but it's fully synthetic. <laughs> and it sticks to everything like glue. Here's the new shift pull to go in. Now, you can feel the difference between this. And the one that's on this is way way stiffer and it is actually a zodiac one so it's a better quality from what i can see it's a thicker metal you know more like the gyms and also that spring is way way stronger than the one that's on you know sometimes you miss a neutral when you're riding your harley that's because this spring's very weak you know you can feel that's pretty wanky if you excuse the phrase okay um Say so bearings going in there, you know, got the tool to pull that out. But you do need to buy these tools if you're going to work on all these properly. Okay, this is an old uh, key shaft, tapered shaft, not spline like this one, which is a lot better. Okay, if you're interested in any great bits, give us a call at 1773 Customcruises.com or the new site customcruises.eu. Thank you.